Engine temperatures are up. Clean those tires off. I'm looking for the one to go signal this time around. We're looking for the one to go signal. There it is. One to go, folks. One to go before we go green. The Eddie Gill Strap Motors Pace Truck light is out. The light is out. That means he's getting ready to pull it down to the apron, and we're about to go green. It's time, folks. Get them right. Get them tight. Let's go green. Looking for the start box right here in turn four. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Green flag! Alex Ware takes it down the back stretch into three is your leader coming around to take the first lap. Alex Ware will lead that first lap. Caldell drops in seconds right on the rear bumpers. Comes up with 15. 16 to Helton right there in third. A little bit high in the line. Connor Popperwell right there in fourth. As Helton goes high. Helton goes up high, way high into that turn. Drops it in right on the rear bumper of Caudell. Gives Alex Ware a little time to get out front and get away just a hair. They tighten it right back up. Ware, Caudell, Helton, Popperwell, top four. Caudell gets a little squirrely coming out of turn two. Helton backs down just a pinch. Alex Ware still showing the way. Good speed coming out of four. Helton tries the high side once again out of turn two. Caudell doesn't know he's going to slide up. There he goes right up into the Helton and it's into turn three wall. Corner wall, corner wall. Twenty machine is Scott Caldell from Seymour, Indiana. Hard hit on that front, on that right front. He might be looking to go change insurance information. I believe he is. Still looking to still looking to trade insurance cards right here. Thankfully, it's dollar beer night, folks. I believe somebody's going to owe some beers after this one. Scott, uh, Scott Caudell takes it down the PNC pit road.
a little bit of a little bit of heat fire down there in the front end of that 20 machine and i understand why Impact Rescue safety team out there, the safety clean team out there checking on the track to make sure all debris is off the track before we get back underway here shortly. We'll be coming to the choose line here in a few minutes. Which way will they go? Will Alex Ware take the outside? Will Helton take the inside? Will they both go outside? Will Popperwell take the inside? We don't know, but we're going to find out here shortly with the Diesel Boys Gas feature event. Track truck takes it down PNC pit road, clears the track, gives it all signals clear. Once again, Alex Ware in the 38 machine out front since the start of this race. A little battle there for second turned into a little bit of trouble. So right now we have Helton, Joan Heath Helton in second, Connor Popwell in third, Jamie Goodman sitting fourth, Kyle Hadley fifth. Looking for the choose line this time. Choose it. Which way is it going to be? Inside, outside. Alex Ware takes the outside. Helton takes the inside. Popplewell takes the outside. Goodman takes the outside. Hadley takes the outside. It lets Austin Baum go down to the inside and gain a couple of positions. It's going to be a good start, folks. It's going to be a real good start here. Lights are out on the truck. Pace truck lights are out. Clean those tires one more time, boys. Get them right. Get them tight because we're about to go green. A 
All eyes on the start box, looking for the green flag to fly. Here they come. Green flag, green flag. Austin Baum jumps to the inside to take a look. Alex Ware, nice run into turns one and two, but there's Helton right there beside him. Heath Helton pulls up right beside Alex Ware. Helton don't have enough to make it stick, and it gets into Alex Ware. Save it, Alex, save it. Nice save by Alex Ware. Nice save. Hopefully not too much damage on the front end of that vehicle. As Alex Ware needs to exchange some information here, some insurance information with Helton. Connor Popwell on the outside said he didn't see nothing. Polar Bear fell on him. Thinking about all that coming through three and four. What a great save by Alex Ware in that 38 machine. He almost rounded around a couple of times and pulled out and saved that thing coming out of four. Great job to him. Now the only issue would be, did he spot them tires? Did he have a problem with those tires? Will he be back up to speed? Still trying to figure out where Alex Ware fits in. Jamie Goodman's going to back up and let him have that spot. Now it comes to the choose line.
Alex Weir in that 38 machine drops it down on PNC Pit Road. Looks like Heath Helton dropping down on the apron as well. Helton does pull into PNC Pit Road. Might have a tire going down. He does. He's got a right front tire down. I don't know if you guys see that little fella out there working his hind end off. He tried to get that tire out there, and I'm telling you right now, I'll give him every credit he got. Here we go, boys, looking at the box. Looking for the green flag, and green flag is out. Papa Will bomb. Dern one and two, side by side. Baum has a little bit of advantage, but Popperwell might shut that door down the back stretch. Connor Popperwell coming out of turn four on top. Hammer down. Austin Baum now fighting for second place. 77 and Justin Pirtle running up there. Connor Popwell running a great line out of one and two down the back stretch. Austin Baum trying to catch him. Coming up on lap seven. Seven laps in the books now. Still got plenty of time, plenty of time. David Baines back there battling with Kyle Hadley. Baines takes the advantage going into three and four, coming out of four on top. Baines now running fifth. Still looking good. Connor Popwell on top of that 19 machine. Got 11 laps in. Coming up to lap 12. Everybody straightened out a little bit. A little bit of distance between the top 10.
15 laps now in the books, 15 laps in. Still got plenty of time in this 50-lap Diesel Boys Gas Series feature event. Connor Popplewell still showing away. Two car links over Austin Baum. Battle building back there for fourth. I don't know if something's wrong with the 77 machine and Pirtle. Pirtle dropped back a little bit now. Jamie Goodman right there on the rear bumper could be taking that third spot away. Goodman's right there. Something must be going on with that 77 machine because there goes Goodman down the back stretch side by side with Pirtle for third. Pirtle still drops it in. Goodman gets a little sideways. Still going to battle it out out of four. Goodman looking to get a run now out of two down there for the battle for third. Jamie's right there on that rear quarter. Falls back in line, gonna take another look at it here, coming out of two, get some clean air on the front of that machine. 75, Goodman tries up that quarter one more time into three, but Pirtle drives high and pulls away. Now Goodman's still right there though. Not giving up yet, trying to wear those tires down. Has to fall back in line one more time and get behind Pirtle. Pirtle still holding that line. Pirtle holding a good line, too. He's not given any errors at all. Just not sure what's wrong with that machine. They both fell back. Connor Popplewell pulling away a little bit from Austin Baum running second. Popplewell leading. Got a little bit of time and distance between him now. Coming up to the halfway point, folks. Halfway point, 25 laps in, 25 laps in the books, 25 to go. Goodman tries him again out of turn four on Pirtle. Battle for third once again going into one and two. Goodman right there side by side takes the middle line. Pirtle on a high line. Pirtle holds the line and draws LA. We got caution on the track. Spinning turn one and two. Spinning one and two. I was watching that third place battle and I missed it. 17 machine around in one and two. Brings caution. This will tighten everybody back up one more time as we got 26 laps showing on the books. Going up to check on that 17 machine of Powell. 
The Impact Rescue Safety Team presented by Safety Clean. One and two, making sure everybody's okay and get that tr machine back down onto the apron. Kyle Hadley looking like he's coming to the low side, maybe coming down PNC Pit Road. As he does, Hadley, the 12 machine, off the grid, coming down PNC Pit Road to see what's going on with that machine. The walls, equipment sales, cruising in the high banks, presented by Ace Hardware of Salem, the Hoosier Lottery. Lots of cool sponsorships here at Salem Speedway. I'd like to thank everybody for your sponsorships and keeping racing alive in the local communities. Twenty six laps on the books when we get ready to go back to green. We're going to have a choose line once again. It's going to be a solid thing to find out. Do they have enough tires to be able to set it off into one and two and make it stick? That's going to be the issue coming up here for the remainder of the race. Will those tires stick?
like the impact recovery safety team has got the 17 machine on the hook as they got it down on the apron now trying to figure out uh, how much fluid has leaked as they get the speedy dry out over there that's going to make that center lane that center lane a little slick going in maybe we'll find out once we get back to green flag racing with the diesel boys gas series 50 lap feature here at salem speedway There's the choose line, folks. The choose line. Austin Baum takes the inside. Papa Well takes the outside. It's going to be a dog race down the front stretch to find out who can put it in the turn and make those tires stick. Justin Pirtle sticks the outside. Jamie Goodman comes to the inside. Keep an eye back there on that fourth row. The 38 of Alex Ware on the outside. Helton Heath, on the, Heath Helton on the inside. The Eddie Gilstrap pace truck off the track looking for the box. We're about to go green. Green flag, green flag. Connor Popplewell doing great. Nice jump out to the front, down the back stretch into turn three. Battle on the inside now. Boston Bomb. Pirtle on the outside. Bomb's going to run it down into four. Pirtle drops down. Dave Baines looking on that outside. Austin Baum not where he wants to be. Stuck down below. Baum still cannot find a spot to slide up in. Needs that outside line to get a run. As he's losing positions. Connor Popwell doing a great job running a good line as he comes out low on two but slides into the backstretch. 
Man, what a rocket ship. They are stacked up back there behind him as Alex Ware looks down below trying to get back on the lead lap, I believe. Hurdle on the outside. Baines comes up and taps the bumper. Let him know he's there. They are showing Alex Ware on the lead lap. So Alex Ware is running forth back on the lead lap. Good deal. We got ourselves a race here, folks. Baines looks to the inside of Pirtle coming down off of turn two. Not enough room. He's got to slide it back out. Alex Ware right there on the rear bumper of Dave Baines. All that battling going on back there for second through 10th. I'm telling you right now, that's giving Connor Popperwell a chance to move out just a little bit more. 35 laps in. 35 laps in the books, and we're looking for 15 more to go before we find out who's going to get the big W on the win. Tonight's Diesel Boys Gas Series 50-lap feature event. Austin Baum, a little sideways going into one. Pulls it up right beside Goodman. Is now Baum's back in as long as he can find a slide to where he can get back on that high line. Just not enough. Had to fall back in line. Austin Baum falls back in behind Jamie Goodman. Baum looking to the inside of Goodman once again down the back stretch. Baum's got a good run, but can he get it there? Goodman slides up. Baum slides up. Baum's got him coming out of four. Maybe he's going to get that spot. Not enough. Goodman's not ready to give it up. Side by side. Battle for fifth and sixth. Bomb right there. One step fifth place. Alex Ware a little squarely in front of him. Gets Bomb just enough room. Can he slide it up there in the turn three? Bomb gets the spot. Now Bomb looking at Alex Ware. Maybe he's going to make another run for fourth. He does. Austin Baum dives down to the inside, looking to get under Alex Ware for fourth place. Coming out of turn two down the back stretch, side by side as they go. Austin Baum looking for a spot to slide that car in up on three. Nowhere to go. He's got to go side by side again out of four. Baum down the front stretch, trying to get that fourth spot. He may have a little bit of a room, but is he going to close the gap? No. Alex Ware said no. No, you're not getting it, but he's going to try to get it anyways. He moves on up beside David Baines. Austin Baum is on a rail right now. Austin Baum comes into third place. Now he gets a chance to slide up and take a break for just a couple of laps before we get into the final 10 laps here coming up here shortly. Five laps. 
I get so excited. They got Heath Helton down there. Helton jumping in down there. He's trying to make a move on the inside. Helton right beside Alex Ware. Another battle for fifth. Helton says slides job. Gets up into turn three. He's on top. Alex Ware is right there. Helton's trying to get that fourth spot and again. 45 laps in the books. Five to go. 45 down. Five to go. Connor Popplewell showing the way in that 19 machine with such great speed out front. Pirtle second. Austin Baum third. Baum looks to the inside. He wants that second place spot. Austin Baum comes side by side with Pirtle out of turn two down the back stretch. We got ourselves a battle for second. Baum still holding the line. Had to slide up, fall back in. Baum still got enough left. I think he might try it one more time. This is only giving Connor Popperwell an advantage to pull away with two laps to go, two laps remaining. Austin Baum takes a look again to the inside of Pirtle. Out of turn two. He's right there on the quarter. He goes to the door. Can he make the pass into three? He's going to go side by side into three and give it all he's got. Baum right there beside Pirtle. Three, four, side by side down the front stretch. White flag in the air. Last and final lap for Connor Popplewell out front in the 19 machine. Battle for second is Austin Baum. Comes up beside Pirtle. Is he going to get it away from him? Can he do the slide job? Go into three high. Austin Baum takes second place away from Pirtle as they come to the checker flag. It's Connor Popplewell, Austin Baum, Pirtle, David Baines, and Heath Helton. Great racing, boys. Oh, son, that was a good race. Connor Popplewell, young kid out of Jeffersonville, I think. Yeah, he's in Jeffersonville, boy. Jeffersonville, Indiana. Connor Popplewell coming up. I know his dad, Mike, very well. Good family. Austin Baum, what a great job by him coming all the way back to second in that last lap battle with Pirtle in the 77. Folks, if you're making your way off the track tonight, I'm your pal, Magic Mike. Thanks for having me here at Salem Speedway. Please be careful driving home as we want to see each and every one of you again at another racetrack or this very same racetrack again someday. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you being here. Please be safe. Connor Popplewell looking to get a little smoke off them tires, but he's not. He's going to back it down. Dad said no. Puts it right there. Parks it just like he wanted it right there in the Red Ball Recycling Victory Lane. I'm going to turn it back over here shortly. As soon as he gets out of the car, I just wanted to say thank you to him and putting on a good show and all the drivers and teams here today at Salem Speedway. There he is. Connor Popplewell gets out of the car. Give him a big round of applause. Good job, buddy. Mr. Glenn Luckett, trackside. I'm going to turn it over to you.
over here, Connie. Thank you, Mike. Two wins this year, Connor. Nice job tonight. Yeah, it's it's been a rough year. Um, we've actually <laughs> almost honestly failed every time out here, but it seems like the nights that do go good go great. So um, I like to thank Red Ball Recycling, Green Tree, um, Richie's Body Shop, um, where uh, that's our new sponsor, um, and most importantly, God. I mean, he just he's made all this possible and wouldn't couldn't do this without him so have faith <laughs> all right one more round of applause tonight connor popwell congratulations Thanks. All right, we got second place to Awesome Bomb. You had to make a lot of passes there at the end to get a nice second place finish. Nice job. Yeah, that one definitely wasn't handed to us like we did the first uh, race this year. I had to work for that one. I was just hoping I'd like to go for another 50. I think we'd have a shot with Connor there, but uh, it's what it is. Congrats to him and his team. Uh, as always, Mr. Pirtle, uh, one of the cleanest guys out here. So I got to thank him for you know, giving me the room. Uh, but damn, it was fast tonight. <laughs> Nice job. Thanks, Austin. Good job. Justin Pirtle, third place tonight. Good job, man. Nice race. Oh, thanks, Glenn. We, I don't know if anybody had anything for the 19 because we didn't, but there was a skosh at the end where I thought we hit. It was like we were almost catching him, but then it fell off. It's hard, hard fought 50 laps. I want to appreciate, or whatever the, I'm tired, Glenn. Whatever the. <laughs> I appreciate being raced by Austin the way that he raced me and the way that David raced me, clean, class act, been out here a long time. Um, I got to thank a few sponsors. I got AGL Properties, which is a new one, LRC Roofing, Stewart Automotive Transmission, Land and Logging, T Salon, and um, Real Deal Pressure Wash. Is one of, a good friend of mine, Eric's not here tonight, but also got to thank my family, friends, crew, Allison, number one. Um, that's all I got to say. Nice job, Justin. Thanks again.